Welcome to the channel and many thanks indeed for tuning in. It's really appreciated and I do hope that you enjoy it. Campervan Dreams, for me, this is all about not just acquiring the right van and converting it to a camper van. For me, it's the whole process of deciding on what kind of van to use and then converting it and using it during the process to have some trips away and in, enjoying it all and then at, in, at the end then obviously enjoying the van life so that's what it's all about to me now we're not new to caravanning mo motorhomes we did have um, previously a coach built motorhome that we named betsy it was um, an Eldis, it was a, on a Peugeot boxer cab, a diesel engine. It was about 10 or 11 years old at the time. And it was very good, a uh, lovely van to drive, lots of features on it really liked. A couple of negative things led to selling it. What, one of which was the age of the diesel engine, which was um, about to trigger cameras and uh, that, I got, that were going to send me a bill every now and then. And I thought, well, I didn't like the idea of that, to be honest. Um, don't like the idea of that. Ten quid every time you, you go out in it. Um, hmm. uh, and uh, another thing was the bed. Uh, there was a bed over the cab uh, and then you could make a, a, a bed up in, in the lounge but if you're only having a short trip and at the time we were having a lot of short short trips rather than some long trips and I think that will continue as well more likely to have shorter trips and long, long trips I think once you do the journey you know if it's only for a day or two or three you don't want to be messing about making the bed up in in my opinion obviously we're all we're all different so those sort of things led me to um, sell it uh, and that was a couple of years ago now and I've had itchy feet since to be fair so the next journey for me started last Christmas New Year 2022 I spent quite a lot of time watching youtube videos on van conversions and and thank you for you guys that i subscribe to because uh, they were all wonderful videos very informative um, <clears throat> one of the things that i liked about the youtube videos that i watched was that um it was mostly normal people i'll call it that that i watched and um you, you, you occasionally made mistakes and then r realized it and rectified it and that's being human that's that's life and that's what happens and no doubt no doubt it'll happen to me and i think that's great whereas the professional video van conversions that i watch they, they don't seem to make a mistake which um i'm sure they make less mistakes anyway because it's it's what they do day in day out but um i i, I just think it's more useful to understand how the you know the the mistakes and and, and it sort of makes you think and and plan more in in my opinion so that's what got me hooked last last christmas what watching it and and uh, it made me realize that it's not rocket science uh, and i can do that um, apart from some technical aspects especially uh, the gas I, I certainly won't contemplate messing about with the gas um, so the, uh, already I've um, spoke to a, a guy locally who, who's going to fit the uh, underslung LPG 
tank for me and a combi boiler, things like that, and a couple of other other jobs that I don't want to tackle myself. But I'm hoping to do, you know, 90, 95% of, of the rest of it because um, I'll really enjoy it. I know I'll really enjoy it. Um, the other thing is that I'd um, planned uh, to to do the work. So what what happened in in the new year? I've made my decision uh, made my decision after watching all the YouTubes that I definitely wanted to go ahead, and I spent a lot of time looking for a, a used van to start with uh, on the internet, and then by going out and about. And I spent weeks doing that, but there just wasn't any that was suitable for, for me. They all, pretty much all, almost without exception, had high mileage. And, and I know these days engines last a long time, and obviously there was battered ones as, as well and what, what have you. And I thought, I don't really want to spend my time doing the mechanical side of it. I, I, I'll, I'm happy to do the habitation side of it. That, that to me is enjoyable, but not the mechanical side of it. I don't want to start the build and then find out there's a, a leak and then uh, another leak that uh, I need to fix or, or something like that, or the, the brakes need changing. So I wanted to eliminate that and I decided to go for a new van in the end. Um, so I went to a couple of Peugeot garages and to cut a long story short, I ordered a Peugeot Boxer L3 H3 at the end of January. Uh, I was told that it delivery will probably be September. I thought, well, okay then. <laughs> I mean, on hindsight, I, I think I probably wish I'd got to use one and cracked on with it but uh, we are where we are it's now almost the end of October or towards the end of October and uh, I've only just recently had the build date officially from the factory which is just before Christmas so with the Christmas and New Year break at the factory I'm looking at delivery now towards the end of January next year um, 2024 so not ideal not not perfect but um, what what it has meant is that I've had a lot of time to plan uh, and plan I have um, <laughs> uh, a, a lot of different versions uh, huge I put a huge spreadsheet together well a spreadsheet together from the start which has grown somewhat and the plan changed as I watched more videos actually uh, I thought oh yeah that that looks good and I, actually that might work better and I considered everything I wanted a fixed bed but I, I considered a Murphy bed as well um, still thinking of that in a way but um, lots of options isn't the you know and I, I thought oh, well that that's a good fridge I like that one and oh well, I like that that max fan looks good and things like that so as it progressed during the year things things changed but over the last couple of months I've settled pretty much on a, a final plan or a almost final plan that um, I'm happy with uh, and obviously I've had all that time the other thing is I work on a zero hour contract so what I did and there's not enough work for the full year on the contract that I work with and I don't want to ask for more work because um, quite like the idea of some time off so what I planned in the new year was to do most of the work by September October time so that I can have some time off in October and a lot more time off November December possibly into Jan January as well to spend on the um, uh, camper van conversion now obviously that's not going to happen now because the van delivery is delayed uh, but um, uh, I it did go to plan and I do have that time off so what I'm going to do is use um, that time wisely and I've already 
started that by uh, I went I, I went to the lakes for a, a couple of days last week and I'll put that video out uh, next af af after this one for you to see so what I decided to do was to go to sites that I may have been to before or may not or, or been in the past to uh, uh, camp and, and not I'll, I'll, uh, go, go in a camper van and and to see how it how it's like and to enjoy the area and have exercise and fresh air of uh, of course so uh, and I think um, it's going to work out really well for me that I'm really looking forward to it so so in the trip last week uh, I went to the National Trust campsite at Langdale and it was a fantastic trip and please do watch that video after this one uh, and then in coming up in three weeks time i've rented a van i've rented a fiat decato so if you remember I, i've ordered a new peugeot l3 h3 and the fiat decatos and the peugeots and the citizen relays are basically all the same so what I'm looking forward to about hiring the Fiat Decato in um, three weeks' time is that I, I actually don't like the layout of it, of, of the hire van. So I'm thinking that's a good thing because I might go, I'm going away in eight, for eight days to Cornwall. Not been to Cornwall in adult life much at all. So I'm really looking forward to it to start with. But also what I thought was, I don't like the layout, but I might come back thinking, oh, actually, I do like that layout. That's, that's better, than one that, <laughs> better than the one I've been working on. Or, or I might not. Or I might tweak my um, plan a bit based on, on the trip. Uh, I, think, I think we'll see. And because it's winter, I think it, you're more likely to uh, not, compromise with with things because you're going to be in the van more in theory and you're certainly going to be relying more on on heating and and stuff so i think it would be a really good exercise so that's in three weeks time so the video by the time i've edited it will be uh, about four weeks away um, and then after that there'll be um, a, a video on on the whole planning exercise with my final plan and then we won't be far off January where I'll be um, collecting things and getting things together and um, making a start on the van conversion with the odd trip uh, here and there and who knows I might do another trip before Christmas as well certainly uh, certainly got the time off to to do that and I intend to use that time wisely uh, as I said before so Thanks for listening to this introduction. It's really appreciated. I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe. I believe in subscribing you get a heads up when the next episode's out. So um, please do follow the journey with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. So thank you very much and bye for now. I thought it'd be nice to include a couple of pictures of Betsy seeming now I've mentioned her a few times and uh, our dog Rufus always likes a good photo opportunity.